Welcome back students. We were talking about our eyes and different parts of the eyes, how the eye functions and how we are able to see different things around us. In this lesson, we are going to learn about how to take care of our eyes properly and also the different devices and things that will help people with different eye problems. Let us get started. We know that our eyes are one of the most important organs in our body. So, it is equally important to take care of our eyes properly. Let us see some guidelines or some advices to keep in mind to keep our eyes healthy. Wash your eyes frequently with clean water. Always read at the normal distance for vision. Do not read by bringing the book too close to your eyes or keeping it too far away. Insufficient light causes eye strain and headaches. Always read or work in a well ventilated room with sufficient light. Too much light like that of the sun or a powerful lamp or a torch or a laser beam can injure the retina. Do not look at the sun or a laser beam or a powerful lamp directly. Never rub your eyes. If particles of dust go into your eyes, wash your eyes with clean water. If there is no improvement, go to a doctor. If advised by an eye specialist, use suitable spectacles. And finally, it is always advised to have regular checkup of your eyes with an eye specialist. Do you recall learning about the importance of a balanced diet? Well, a balanced diet also helps us maintain the health of our eyes. Let us see how a balanced diet will help our eyes. The lack of vitamin A in our food is responsible for many eye problems, mostly night blindness, short sight, long sight, etc. One should therefore include food items with vitamin A in their diet components. These include vegetables such as broccoli, carrot, green vegetables and cod liver oil. Egg and dairy products such as milk, curd, cheese and butter. Fruits such as papaya and mango. Now, some people regardless of age may have certain eye problems which cannot be easily rectified by the tips that we saw and also by controlling the diet. Let us see these problems and how to rectify them. Some people including children have difficulties in seeing or are visually impaired. There are different categories of visual impairment. Some people may have partial vision, some may be born blind which is completely blind, some may lose their eyesight due to an accident or an injury or a disease. Such people identify or perceive things using other senses like sound, touch and smell. They will have to use devices such as a white cane or other helpers or guide dogs for mobility. Nowadays, different technology devices are making it easier for blind and visually impaired people to find their way around and help them to develop their capabilities further. The devices which will help visually impaired people may be optical aids or non-optical aids. Let us see what these optical and non-optical aids are. Optical aids are corrective aids which will help people to see things better. Example include bifocal lenses, contact lenses, tinted lenses, magnifiers and telescopic aids. Lens combinations are used to rectify visual limitations and telescopic aids are available to view chalkboard and class demonstrations. Non-optical aids. These include tactile aids such as braille writer and stylus which will help the visually challenged people in taking notes, reading and writing. Auditory aids including cassettes, audio books, tape recorders, etc. Visual aids which can magnify words and which can provide suitable intensity of light and material at proper distances. Electronic aids such as talking calculators and computers are also available for performing many computational tasks. Nowadays, the use of audiobooks and podcasts with computers are extremely helpful for listening to and writing the desired text. In addition to the previously mentioned optical and non-optical aids, the one breakthrough which came to help people with visual impairment was the braille system. The braille system was a system of language 
adopted in 1932 by Louis Braille. He was a French educator and himself was a visually challenged person. There is Braille code for common languages, mathematics and even scientific notation. Many Indian languages can be read using the Braille system. Visually impaired people learn the Braille system by beginning with letters, special characters and letter combinations. Braille system has 63 dot patterns or characters. Each character has to be memorized. Each character represents a letter, a combination of letters, a common word or a grammatical sign. The dots are arranged in cells of two vertical columns of three dots each. Some patterns of dots representing some English alphabets and words are shown here. These patterns are usually embossed on braille sheets. Visually challenged people recognize words by touching. The letters are raised slightly to make them easier to touch and feel. Braille texts can be produced by hand or by machine. Typewriter like devices and printing machines were also developed to type braille. The Perkins Brailler is a braille typewriter with a key corresponding to each of the six dots of the braille code, a space key, a backspace key and a line space key. Although braille notation was designed for people who are blind or visually impaired to read, prior to the introduction of the Perkins Brailler, writing braille was a cumbersome process. Like a manual typewriter, it has two side knobs to advance paper through the machine and a carriage return lever above the keys. The rollers that hold and advance the paper have grooves designed to avoid crushing the raised dots the brailler creates. Now, let us see some very inspiring personalities who, despite their difficulties and visual impairments, raised to great heights with their strong perseverance and hard work. Helen A. Keller Keller was an American author and lecturer. She lost her eyesight when she was 18 months old. She completed her graduation from a university and wrote a number of books including The Story of My Life. Keller used to do her own typing. She did all her typing on her braille typewriter so that she can go over them herself for correction. If you want to learn more about Helen Keller and her life and how she struggled and achieved the great achievements she had, you should check out this movie The Miracle Worker which was released in 1962. It pictures the story of Annie Sullivan's struggle to teach Helen Keller despite her difficulties. Other notable personalities include Ravindra Jain who obtained Sangeet Prabhagar degree from Allahabad. He had shown his excellence as a lyricist, a singer and a music composer. Lal Adwani. He established an association for special education and rehabilitation of disabled in India. He represented India on Braille problems in UNESCO. You must also remember Divakar Sharma, who was a child prodigy and who gave amazing performances as a singer. Did you know that you can even donate your eyes after your death? Eyes can be donated by any people regardless of their social status, gender or even age. The eyes have to be donated within 4 to 6 hours after the death at any place, home or hospital. A person who wants to donate the eyes may pledge the eyes during his or her lifetime to any registered eye bank. He or she should also inform his or her relatives about this pledge so that they can take necessary action after his or her death. Here are some associations and organizations formed for helping visually challenged people. Indian Association for the Blind, Tamil Nadu, Blind Relief Association, Delhi, Blind Relief Association, Nagpur and the Cricket Association for the Blind, Bengaluru. Summary It is necessary that you take proper care of your eyes. If there is any problem, you should go to an eye specialist. A balanced diet is very significant in keeping our eyes healthy. Visually impaired people can read and write using the braille system. So, don't forget to take care of your eyes regularly by following the tips that we have seen in this video. And also, remember a nutritional diet is extremely important for maintaining the health of our eyes. And finally, do not forget to extend a helping hand to visually impaired people whenever you get the chance to do so. Finally, we have come to the end of this chapter, Light. Thank you.